Hi, in this video we will talk about F1 score in Python programming language and machine learning. So the first question is, what is the problem with recall precision and specificity that we are going to use another metric called F1? The problem is, if you want to consider just one of these metrics, I mean recall, precision, and specificity, there are some cases which the recall is perfect, but the model is very bad, and also there are some cases which the precision is perfect but the model is again very bad and also there are some cases which the specificity is perfect but the model is very bad so let's see these examples for example suppose this one if you look at this confusion matrix you can see the model is going to predict all the values as positive so you can see the recall is one but as you can see, this model is very bad. It's always predicting positive, which is a very, very bad model, but the recall is one. And let's consider another example. You can see that the model is predicting negative, except just in one case. So except that the model is predicting all the values negative. So we can see here the precision is one, but again, the model is very bad. And the last example, here you can see a model which predicts all the values negative, but you can see a specificity is perfect. But as you can see, the model is very, very bad. So as you can see, when we consider just one of these metrics, recall, precision, and specificity, there are some cases which the model is very bad, and these metrics are perfect. So maybe it's a good idea to combine these metrics together. And that's exactly what F1 does. We define a metric called F1 score, or sometimes called F score, F1 measure, or F measure, which is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. And maybe you ask, is there a reason for harmonic mean? Of course there is. But we're not going to talk about why do we use harmonic mean and not any other types of means. But here is a question. What is the harmonic mean? The harmonic mean of precision and recall, which are two values, is the number of values. So as you can see, we want to calculate the harmonic mean of two values, precision and recall. So the number of values is two divided by the sum of the reciprocal of each number. So we can see sum of the reciprocal of precision, which is one divided by precision plus one divided by recall which is equal to this. And if we calculate F1 for this example, we can see that here's the result, 0.93. So let's do it in Python. So first of all, we should import scikit-learn package. So we simply type from sklearn that metrics, we want to import F1 score, and then we simply type F1 score, and we should pass the true values, which is Y test, and then the predicted values, which is Y pred. And then we want to store the results in a variable, let's say called F1. And in the next line, I want to print F1 is equal to, F1 is equal to F1. And if I run a code, you can see here is the confusion matrix, which we have talked in the previous videos. This is the normalized confusion matrix, and this is recall precision and specificity, which we have talked in the previous videos. And now there it is. Here's the F1 score for this example. 